Bereshit, Genesis 14. And it came to pass in the days of Amraphel, king of Shinar, Ariok, king of Elakar, Kedalor Amur, king of Elam, and Tidal, king of nations, that these made war with Et Bera, king of Saddam, and with Et Bersha, king of Amora, Shinav, king of Adma, and Shem Eber, king of Savoyim, and the king of Bila, which is Soar. All these were joined together in the valley of Sidim, which is the Salt Sea. Twelve years they served at Kedorla Omer, and in the thirteenth year they rebelled. And in the fourteenth year came Kedola Omer and the kings that were with him, and smote at the Rephaim in Ashtaroth, Karanim, and at the Zuzim in Cham, and at the Aimim in Sheva, Kariathaim, and at the Chorim in their Mount Seir unto El Paran, which is by the wilderness. And they returned and came to Ain Mishpat, which is Kadesh, and smote at all the country of Amalakim, and also at the Amarim that dwelt in Chat. Son, Tamar. And there went out the king of Saddam and this king of Amorah and the king of Adma and the king of Sirevim, rather Sivoim and the king of Bila. The same is Soar. They joined battle with them in the valley of Sidim. Et with Kedorla Omer, the king of Elam, and with Tidal, king of nations, and Amraphel, king of Shinar, and Ayarak, rather Ariak, king of Elakar, four kings with five. And the valley of Sidim was full of slime pits. And the kings of Saddam and Morah fled and fell there. And they that remained fled to the mountain. And they took at all the goods of Saddam and Morah, and at all their victuals, and went their way. And they took at Lot, Abraham's brother's son, who dwelt in Saddam and at his goods, and departed. And there came one that had escaped, and told Avram the Ivri, for he dwelt in the plain of Mamre, the Emery, brother of Eshcol, brother of Aner. And these were confederate with Avram. And Avram heard that his brother was taken captive, rather, and when Avram heard that his brother was taken captive, he armed at his trained servants, born in his own house, 318, and pursued them unto Dan. And he divided himself against them, he and his servants, by night, and smote them, and pursued them unto Chova, which is on the left hand of Damascus. And he brought back at all the goods, and also brought again his brother at Lot, and his goods, and at the woman also, and at the people. And the king of Saddam went out to meet him after his return from the slaughter of at Kedorla Omer, and at of the kings that were with him at the valley of Shavah, which is the king's valley. 
and Malki Sadiok, king of Shalom, brought forth bread and wine. And he was the priest of El Elyan. And he blessed him and said, Blessed be Avram of El Elyan, possessor of heaven and earth. And blessed be El Elyan, which has delivered your enemies into your hand. And he gave him tithes of all. And the king of Saddam said unto El Avram, Give me the persons and take the goods to yourself. And Avram said to the king of Saddam, I have lift up my hand unto El Yahuwah, El Elyan the possessor of heaven and earth, that I will not take from a thread even to a shoe latchet, and that I will not take anything that is yours, lest you should say, I have made at Avram a rich, save only that which the young men have eaten and the portion of the men which went with me. Anur, Eshkal and Mamre. Let them take their portion. <laughs>